Hey guys and welcome to my step-by-step -step guide to the GT Planet Weekly Race Series Registry Qualifier. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about at this point, the Weekly Race Series or WRS is the official racing series for GT Planet. The registry serves as a way for anyone to join the series and be placed into a division-based ranking system. Once you're registered, you'll be able to participate in WS time trials and online races. You'll find a link in the description of this video to the thread on GT Planet that in explains in full detail how to submit your qualifier and all the rules and guidelines, but this video aims to walk you through the process one step at a time. If you're interested in signing up, I fully recommend reading the thread first, and if you're still confused, then refer back to this video. So assuming we're all now on the same page, let's begin with the first step. Step 1. Register with the GT Planet forums. Simply go to the forum section of gtplanet.net and register using the form provided. Simple as that. Many of you will already be registered, so log straight in and let's move on to the next step. Step 2. Choose a PSN username. In the past, the registry has required a PSN username with a prefix of gtp underscore and then the name. This requirement no longer exists, meaning you may choose any PSN name that you like. Of course, many of you already have progress in the game with an existing account, so you may choose to register with this account. Whilst the use of a GTP PSN username is not required, many people like to wear this badge with pride and it would be encouraged to use such a username. If you'd like to use the GTP username, you need to set up this account on your PS3. It's important to note that you can only register once, you can only qualify once, so choose wisely which account you want to submit with, as you won't be able to re-qualify with a different username. As an example of using the GTP username, my normal account on PSN is just oink83, however I'll be qualifying for the registry under the name GTP underscore oink. Step 3, run the events. Now it's time to get on track. The qualifier this time around consists of two events, let's start with part 1. First, go to the Arcade Mode section and hit Single Player. Once you see this menu, choose Time Trial. Now for the track, the first event takes part at the streets of Willow, so choose World. Then on the first page in the bottom right, choose Willow Springs International Raceway, Streets of Willow Springs. This one here. You'll now see the page for the car choice. Select the Courtesy Car option at the bottom, and from this menu, choose the Megan RS Trophy on the first page here. The colour doesn't make any difference, so choose whichever you want. You may drive in either automatic or manual transmission. When you get to the track, select Track Settings. The time of day and time progression settings are your choice, although I might advise driving during the day. So we set this to somewhere around midday. Time progression again doesn't matter, but slower time progression makes sense. Weather race at start must be at 0%. Weather changeability at start also must be at 0. Crucially, grip reduction on wet track slash track edge must be on real. Now go to driving options. Again, transmission can be either manual or automatic. Front tyres must be comfort soft, as do the rears. They must also be comfort soft. Driving line may be on or off. Blind spot indicator also may be on or off. Active steering must be off. Traction control may be on or off, the level at which is your choice, whichever your preference is. Active stability management may be on or off. ABS may be on or off, again at whatever setting your preference is. Skid recovery force must be off. And again, controller steering sensitivity may be whichever your preference is. So now it's time to run your laps. The goal here is simple to achieve the best single lap time that you can. Your lap must be clean as per the rules outlined in the thread that I linked in the description. If you're not 100% absolutely certain that your lap is clean, consider it dirty and keep trying. Okay, so I just recorded my absolute personal best time after days of practice and managed a cracking 4 minutes 59.260. 
Now it's time to move on to the second stage, but before that we need to save the replay. The replay that you need to save is the best lap replay, so choose save best lap replay. Note that don't choose the save replay option, that's gonna save all of your laps. Only the best lap replay needs to be saved here. Now it's time for the second stage. This event is set up just like the first, only with a different car and track. Once again, go to arcade and single player. Choose time trial. Select world. And then the second track on the list, Brands Hatch Grand Prix Circuit. Again, go to use courtesy car. And then on the second page this time, you'll find the M3 GT BMW Motorsport 2011 and select that. Again, there's only one color to choose. And again, transmission type is your own choice. Once you're at the track, again, choose any time of day and time progression. Whether at race start must be at 0%, weather changeability must be at zero, and surface water at race start again at 0%. Grip reduction on wet track and track edge must be on real. In driving options, again you can have any transmission, the main difference being the front and rear tyres both must be racing hard. For the driver assistance, again the only settings that are prohibited are active steering, which again must be off, and skid recovery force must be off, the other settings you may use should you want to. So now I've just set a 5 minute point one one oh. that was just an amazing lap, I'm very proud of that. So, I'm going to exit out of there again and save best lap replay. Remember it's not save replay, but save best lap replay. And that is now both of the events done, I've set my lap records on both of uh, part 1 and part 2. So now it's time to submit. Step 4. Export your replay files. On the main menu of GT6, select Gallery. You'll be put in your replay library by default, and on the right you will see any saved replays that you have. Find the two replays from your qualifier, one from Willow Springs, one from Brands Hatch. This should be listed as Arcade Time Trial, and then in brackets, Best Lap Replay, and the time that you set, uh, as well as the date created. If you have multiple best laps saved whilst practicing, be absolutely sure that you find the correct lap as you only get one opportunity to submit your times. When you know which two replays you will be submitting, press select, and check the boxes of the two replays, and then on the right choose export files. This will send them to your PS3 ready to go. Just choose new replay data, do you want to save this data? and it should save it to your PS3. You have two replays, so just make sure you go through the process twice each time you'll be prompted to select a new uh, save file. Now, quit to the PS3 main menu, and in the game section, select Save Data Utility which you should find just above disk and PlayStation Store. Here you will see your exported replay files. At this point you will need to plug in a USB memory stick or other external hard drive uh, storage device and this will allow you to get your replay files onto your computer. If you press triangle and then choose copy multiple at the top, select both of the replay files Make sure it's the correct ones, of course. It shows you some information on the file if you just hover over it. And click OK. Select the destination, which is my USB device. And it will now copy the files onto the uh, storage device, memory stick, whichever it is you have plugged in. And uh, you're ready to go and put them onto the PC. Okay, so plug in your storage device into your computer. Firstly, you need to find the device. Inside it, you will find a folder called PS3. Double click on that. Inside there, you will find a folder called Save Data. Double click on that. 
and inside there will be your two exported replay folders. Leave those as they are. We need to turn these into individual zip files. To do this, right click on the first one, hover over send to, and then choose compressed in bracket zipped folder. Might take a minute, and you'll then see a zipped folder, a uh, zipped file uh, with the same name as the first replay. Do the same steps for the second replay, and uh, I renamed mine to handy names, but you can leave them as they are if you prefer. Step 5 Time to submit. On the second post of the qualifier thread linked in the description, you'll find a segment about the submission. There's a clickable link where it says WRS Fetchbot. If you click that, it will open a new conversation on GT Planet with the bot that reads your submission. In the subject field, you need to enter GTP underscore WRS space qualifier. In the body, you'll need to write PSN colon space and then the PSN name that you're using. This must match the PSN that you ran your qualifier lap times in. On the next line, write country colon space and then the country that you're from, for example, for me, it'll be UK. Next, click the button at the bottom of the page that says upload a file. Navigate to the two zip files that we created. Click the first, click OK and it'll upload. Then do the exact same thing for the second. Your message should now look something like this. Click the send button and shortly you'll receive a message back telling you that your submission was accepted. If you make a mistake with your message, you'll receive a message back saying that there was a problem. Some common mistakes might be spelling the subject line wrong, only uploading one file, not formatting the message body correctly. Simply check what was not correct and redo your message from scratch with the uploaded files again. So that's the whole process. There will be a second link in the description of the video to the thread where you can post more questions should you still be stuck. Remember all your submission lap times, splits, sectors or anything to do with your qualifier times must remain secret both publicly and in private. This is an important factor in the way the qualifier works and it is highly important that you do not share information regarding your qualifier. When writing your submission message, I recommend copy and pasting the examples given in the thread to ensure that you make no typos, spelling mistakes and the message body is perfectly formatted. All you need to do then is go in and put your own information where it's needed. When it comes to setting your qualifier lap times, take your time. If you're submitting during the initial registration period, you have until mid-January plenty of time to really get the best possible laps, and no need to rush. If you're joining us after the initial period, there's no time limit at all, so really spend time to make sure you get the best possible lap times before submitting. Once you submit, it's final. From all of us at the WRS, we wish you the best of luck with your qualifier, and look forward to seeing you out on track.